Hey GearHeads, it's Chris with Gear Report and today I'm out at my local state park so you're probably going to hear some people having a good time around me and about right next to Lake Norman and here down in the Carolinas and today we're going to talk a little bit and I'll give you a good look at the Dutchware Winter DCF tarp. So here it is folks, it's the Dutchware DCF winter tarp. I do have one set of the doors closed back and the other sets open. This is a 12 foot ridge line selection. Retail prices on these started at about $299 for the 11 foot on the winter tarp with doors and then do go up over $300. This one comes in right at around 300 uh, grams. And as you can see, I've got it guyed out with the Dutchware stingers and 12 foot of lashet on the ridge line, as well as the four guy lines are the Dutchware hookworms with some six feet of Dutch wire. Now, the beauty of this tarp is it does not compromise when it comes to waterproofness. This tarp will keep you dry in some of the worst rains that I've experienced. It does not absorb any water. It does repel it all. You got the four tie outs and you've also got the external pole lines that I do not have deployed today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna and set the camera down and I'm gonna show what it looks like when I get to camp. So bear with me. All right, so what I've done is I've unhooked my guy lines. I've got the tarp and the Dutchware snake skin. And when I get to camp, the first thing I do, I set up my rig. If it's dry out, it's hammock, quilts, and then tarp. If it's raining out, definitely it's tarp set up. And then I take a break hammock and quilts go underneath once everything's dry and I've kind of calmed down from the rain. But the beauty of hammock camping and the versatility of having a tarp that you can set up either first or last in your setup, this snake skin or tarp sleeve is kind of, I call it a necessity. One, if you're in windy conditions, it keeps the tarp manageable until you need it. Two, if it's a beautiful day like it is now. You can set everything up, deploy it, put the tarp back into the tarp sleeve and have full access to your hammock and all your gear storage. And then go to sleep with the stars up above. If for some reason you do get some rain and you're asleep, it's a quick deploy, everything dried in. I'm going to try to do this with the camera in my hand. All right, once the tarp falls, and then you're just going to hook the tarp hooks to the shock cord all four ways out, and you have a dried in tarp. And boom, it's a pretty quick process when you're not trying to hold on to a camera. It's even quicker when it's raining on all your gear and you're just trying to get dried in. But with the 12 foot ridge line, it gives you plenty of internal space. Plenty of room to keep you dry, to keep yourself, your gear dry. The doors close off wonderfully you can see I don't have this quite as wide as I could and yet there's still a pretty good hole in there to 
work your way through and then run your straps. Now, with this tarp, there's there are some drawbacks. And as you get into the lighter ultralight set of gear, those drawbacks, those drawbacks are always number one price. You can get a lot cheaper tarps from Dutch and other hammock manufacturers for the price that you're going to pay for this tarp. But at 300 grams, you're not going to get any that are going to be lighter and still provide you the same four seasons worth of coverage. One of the other drawbacks is because this DCF fabric and the way it's designed, it's waterproof. It's not water resistant, it's waterproof. Also, that means the inside in the summertime is going to heat up quicker than you would expect it to. It does kind of have a greenhouse effect on the inside. So, can't get around that. Um, as you can see, with seeing the woods behind me, it is also somewhat sheer, and you can see through it. So you give up a little bit of privacy using this tarp. Uh, if you're like me and wake up at crack of daylight hitting my tarp, I wake up 10 minutes earlier with this tarp than I do with one of my other tarps because it magnifies the light. But on the flip side of that, if I'm carrying this tarp, I'm probably backpacking and I kind of need to get myself out of the rig and get coffee going and get to hiking anyway. So there's that. It also does not pack up as small as what a sil poly tarp or a sil nylon tarp will. Not saying that that's big, but it does it just packs up a little bit larger. Now if you're using an external pocket on like a ULA pack or a Waymark pack or a light AF pack, that's not going to be a problem because those packs will swallow that tarp easily. But just keep in consideration it is going to pack slightly larger than what your normal DCF tarps will. Alright, back outside because let's face it, you guys want to see the tarp but not me. <clears throat> in conclusion, while this tarp I don't think is for the beginner hammock camper, for those of us that are looking for much lighter gear, are looking for that extra edge in waterproofness out on the trail, hiking in wet conditions, don't want to have to deal with any absorption from the overnight rains, I don't think there's any choice at the top of our list other than a DCF tarp and I don't think there's a better tarp out there for the money than the product that is coming out of Dutchware. So this tarp easily ranks four gears in my book. Head on over to gearreport.com for my full written review and I'll catch you on the flip side.